Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is to have a look and see if someone's significant, okay, that's from your past, past ex, lover, spouse, past person you dated, if they will make a comeback into your life. Now it will be a general reading. I will be drawing out three cards. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information that you require is listed below in the show more section. Um, otherwise, this reading can be applicable for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and hopefully there is something here, some sort of indication as to if this person will come back, when, or potentially what's happening around them at this point in time. So let's jump into it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Will they come back? Will they come back to you, Cancer? I want you to meditate on this person. Think about them. Hold an image of them in your mind. Will they come back to you? Okay, let's look at the first card you have here. And this is the Seven of Swords. Um, Seven of Swords is a mentally conflicted energy. It can represent an air sign, um, perhaps for those dealing with an air sign, maybe. But look, I feel like the Seven of Swords shows that someone is very trapped in their own thoughts right now. And I don't feel like there's any movement um, as to reinitiating contact. That's not to say it can't happen in the future, because the good news is you have the Wheel of Fortune, which turns in your favor, and you also have the, um, the uh, long-term future card in the Three of Wands. So this is positive. But I feel like there's a possibility of them coming back in the long-term future rather than the near future. So it's the distant future that they might make a presence uh, or a return into your life. Why? Because they're very trapped in a certain situation here. The Seven of Swords is trapped. You can see the swan who cannot take flight because he's guarded by this darker force. And in terms of what this darker force is around this person is there's a lot of negativity about how your relationship ended or this person is in a negative funk. Now, you wouldn't want this person coming back to you because in this mind state, it's not going to be very beneficial to you or to the connection. In fact, this sort of toxic energy or pessimistic energy could potentially be detrimental to your connection, he Cancer. So I want you to remember that um, although your separation anxiety might be coming in, especially if you're wanting this person to come back, you know, you want to have them you know, not more than spiritually, you want them physically there, you want to be able to touch them and, and have them close to you. I absolutely get that. But in the in the mind state that they're in right now, they're very confined to the dark side right now. And I think this means that they're not in a good place to come back to you. And I don't think they want to right now. So they need to, you know, they haven't, they, they've spread their wings, but they haven't flown. And that's not just, uh, for a lot of you, I still feel like this person is mentally attached. Um, but, but I don't think they've taken that, you know, it's a jumping off point and they haven't taken that, they haven't taken flight. And what I think this can be translated to is that this person is not ready to make contact with you. But they also feel very stuck for words because words um, can be represented by swords. They're either stuck in communication or they're stuck for words. They just don't know how to approach the situation. They don't know what to say. They're either at a loss for words. They're speechless. They're speechless. They don't know how to reinitiate contact or they don't know what to start with. But in time, I think this is going to change. The Wheel of Fortune indicates things um, uh, uh, shifting in our favor. The Wheel of Fortune... The fates, the gods, the universe, higher power, higher realm, um, shows movement and progression. Okay, it's about acceleration. And I do feel there is movement around this person, and it could be more internal rather than external. Nonetheless, the Wheel of Fortune represents a fated cycle. And I do think for a lot of you, there's a possibility to have another fated cycle with this person. But the fact that the long um, distance uh, future card has come up here with the three of wands I sense that it's it's not in the immediate future that this person is going to come back again so there is a possibility it's hard to say when because there hasn't been a specific time or sign that has come up here so we can extract that so that makes it a little bit difficult however the wheel of fortune always turns in our favor 
and you can see in this deck how there's the the roots the vines are intertwined so I'm sensing this person will come back because in the distant future your lives will be intertwined somehow you'll either make mutual friends you'll end up working near each other or at the same company um, you'll end up living near each other uh, something will bring you in, into alignment in the physical somehow your lives will be intertwined again you know especially if you have children with this person okay that's a, that's an obvious one obviously your lives are intertwined by children or by offspring so um i guess that would be a primary example of, of what i'm trying to uh, articulate here but i do sense that the wheel of fortune can represent the tree of life as well okay growth major changes love self-love this is all happening for this person but i do sense that something is going to come full circle and i do feel if it's not it's not them coming back for commitment then it's them coming for closure so they're coming back into your life for closure something to come full circle because it means that they want um they want either forgiveness or closure they'll they'll want to know why things ended or they need closure in some way for ego for self-growth for self-love for them to be able to move on from you whatever the reason is behind it something is going to come full circle which i think is a good indication that this person is it's, it's like a valid indication that this person will be coming back to you cancer um and you also have the three of ones which i see as the long distance you know long-term future why because this this she looks out to the fields she's got a long journey ahead of her the ones are ready she's ready she's got the perspective she's got a very broad perspective the sun lights up her path she knows where she needs to go. She knows what she needs to do. So it's someone here that's either still thinking about you as, as part of their future. So maybe if you had plans together to travel or to get married or to move in together or do experience things together in the future, they're still thinking about those things. So I do feel like there's still care and consideration here, Cancer, for a lot of you. But I do feel um, this person it's the notion of the future um so i feel like they know in themselves that in, in their heart that they're going to reach out to you eventually i think they know this that they're, they're aware there's self-awareness in this regard but i must mention here also because the seven of swords is here, of swords is here which can be like conflict and, and even deceit you know it's sneaky energy the three of wands can represent a third party situation so for some of you there might be someone coming back into your life but they might have another person around them romantically and it could be selfish reasons that they're coming back it could be to seek physical validation it could be to seek closure it could be to have something again with you even though there's someone else here the three of ones can be a third party situation or it could be that you're you will be involved with someone else romantically by that stage already you will have multiple lovers or someone else competing for your time your love your attention cancer and this might complicate things it might complicate your future but because this reading is centered on them and their return i do sense that there is a high chance for them to return in the distant future whether for commitment or not again is hard to say but i do think there's something about full circle or a cycle that needs to be completed it's, it's almost like written in the stars that the both of you need to complete some sort of cycle together to be able to move on or start again Obviously, every breakup is different, so it's going to vary between every Cancerian and whoever you're dealing with. But I do sense that that's a strong possibility. I do feel like this person is also thinking about their long-term future a lot right now, whether it's the, the job they'd like to have, where they'd like to be in five years, where they want to live, what they want to experience. It's anything to do with the long-term there's a lot of thoughts about this happening around this person and I think you are somehow incorporated into these thoughts or you're tied into these long-term thoughts that they're having as well. Uh, and, and maybe if this is a long-distance connection for a lot of you, I do sense that this person will make a comeback somehow or the two of you have potential to meet up again, okay, as well. A pretty interesting reading though, Cancer. I do want to thank you for watching. Um, I do I do appreciate you tuning into the channel. Please feel free to uh, leave behind a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this content. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to subscribe and join the YouTube family. 
Um, I'm always open to new additions. Otherwise, have a fantastic week and we shall be connecting soon. Bye for now.